In this tutorial, I'll show you how to import a rig, a model with an armature connected, into a blend file, and I'll show you how to link actions to the imported rig. Open the file we created in the previous tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we created four animation actions. The wave action is currently linked to the armature. If I change the layout from animation to default, we see the keyframes that make up the wave action. If I press play, we get the wave. But at any time, I can change the window to a dope sheet window, go into action editor mode, and select a different action. Go back into 3D view. Now we've got the keyframes for the walk action. If I press play, we get the walk. But because the walk cycle runs over 20 frames, I need to set the total length of animation to 20 for the looped playback to be in sync. But more about that later. Go into object mode. I'm going to turn the 3D manipulator widget on. I'm going to drag on the tip of the red arrow to move the model to the side. How do we import another Cubicraft figure? Well, it's File, Append. Go to the folder where the model is saved. This is an Iron Man model. It's the same as the Spot model, just linked to a different Cubicraft template. Click on the Blend file to go into it. Click on the Object folder to go into it. Hold down Shift and select all the mesh body parts and the armature. Click Link Append drag on the tip of the red arrow to move that to the side I'm dragging on the boundary between the two windows to make the outliner window bigger the Spock armature is selected at the moment if I click the plus we see the names of the mesh body parts that are linked to the armature if I click the plus we see the names of the bones that make up the armature now this is the Iron Man armature. When it was imported, Blender will not allow two armatures to have the same name, so it was renamed armature.001. If I click the plus, Blender will not allow mesh objects to have the same name, so all the body parts have been renamed. If I click the plus here, Blender will allow bones to have the same name, provided the armature they belong to has a different name. Now all this renaming, has it affected the functionality of the model? Well if I go into pose mode and grab an arm, we see that the model still works as before. Can we use the actions we created for the spot model with the imported Iron Man model? Well I'm selecting the Iron Man armature, I'm going to change the window to a dope sheet window. We're in action editor mode. Click this button to list the actions. I'm going to select the wave action and in selecting it, it has been linked to the armature so that when I go into 3D view and press play, the spot model is linked to the walk cycle. The Iron Man model is linked to the wave action. But if we look at the timeline, the walk cycle runs over 20 frames and the wave action runs over 40. How can we accommodate both with just one timeline? The solution to the problem of using multiple actions, some repeating, some overlapping, is to use the NLA editor, and I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial. I'll put the start file and the end file to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.